What happened to AUR stock? Aurora Innovations Inc. It closed the session of the 19th of November 2021 at $17.11, dollars a gain of 51.42%. Right now, in this uh, post market session, it is down $9.41. dollars so yes, uh, self-driving technology companies are the latest automotive stocks to become the obsession of uh, retail tra retail traders with firms like uh, Aurora Innovation Inc. surging more than 57% uh, at some point today, the 19th of November 2021, on a high, a high volume of 36.7 million shares. 36.7 million shares. The average volume so far for the last 10 trading sessions is uh, somewhere in the low millions yes it's 2.223 million that's the average volume for the last 10 trading sessions and uh, a report yesterday the the 18th of november 2021 that apple is going for a fully autonomous car has led investors to, to this group of uh, growth uh, stocks yes this group of growth stocks stocks that are involved with uh, fully autonomous self-driving systems and all that stuff so um so aur stock aur stock went public two weeks ago yes on the 4th of november 2021 via virus spark the market cap is currently 12 billion dollars and it spends two billion dollars a year at still a development stage company so market participants amongst other things are speculating that uh, this company aurora it could be one of this one of the um, companies maybe apple may decide to partner with and you know and all that stuff you know already also we have seen that uh, it is also trying to model its uh, car uh, speculation of course around the canoe inks uh, sort of model the way uh, the seating arrangements are within all uh, spread out uh, along the sides of the car you know like a limousine you know so this is what happened to the stock you know it reached in the 52 week high today the uh, 19th of november 2021 price reached the new 52, 52 week high of 17.77 dollars this exceeds the previous high of 11.83 dollars by 5.94 dollars and it is it's 7.06 percent above the 52 week low of 9.50 dollars so this is what happened it spiked when the market opened and um reached this high of roughly what's this this high of 15 16.62 obviously at this uh, sort of level you know it uh, spiked with uh, a huge angle of attack you know and then pulled that pull back pulled back below the 50-day moving average moved cruised remained in a cruise mode for a great deal a huge a significant a significant length of uh, time pretty much much of the session and then suddenly it spiked again and continued to extend but we have also seen that it has pulled back now at uh, where is it now in this session pre-market post market session 15.50 15.50 is, is somewhere here 15.5 just over here now below the 50 day moving average uh, is there any chance that uh, having that having done so that maybe in the session of the 22nd it will continue to extend up there's no guarantee that that is the case there's no guarantee you can see we have a shares of standing of 1.124 billion shares you know um if sh short sellers get involved with this stock that would be interesting as well because you know we are talking about the stock that is worth over 1 billion you know and we know the the highly influential uh, short squeezers they prefer stocks that are over uh, one billion dollars in market cap and um, you know this is also a high-tech stock you know so okay but we also seen what we have here is that uh, the distribution is a poor one the distribution is uh, retracing obviously it has to be the case because we have um, that the stock is uh, pulling back so yes it's uh, momentum is uh, as, as at w when the session closed you know it was on the decline momentum was in decline the first line of this 14 period so because slow stochastic oscillator is above is ahead of the slow line and the macd is also below the signal as the signal line so things were bearish before the market closed and uh, there was a sellout as well you know you can see the the 
accumulation distribution is showing that uh, volume is being uh, shares are being dumped you know so just be really careful with uh, AUR stock you know we have a we have two price targets if con if it continues to extend based on how it performed in this session on the 19th of October no 19th of November we have uh, the first price target of 17.36 dollars is also this 17.6 17.36 is below this uh, 52 week high of 17.76 but we also have another one after that 17.36 which is 18.07 dollars that will now if it gets to that 18.07 that would also be another 52 week high and that would also of course anytime it exceeds this 17.77 then we also have a new 52 week high here so there are fundamental risk today's stock as a slowdown in news may affect it negatively because right now all we i mean it's it is uh it's getting its momentum from pure speculation you know there's uh pure speculation and uh, you know the, the the influence on uh, stock tweets and twitter and all that stuff that is what has uh, is driving it and, you know so just be really careful with uh, AU, AUR stock and uh, we'll continue to update you. Thank you very much for watching this video.